current political and economic conditions have changed on a global scale, affecting littoral and coastal defense. Traditional threats to a country's ocean borders have altered substantially as the world has developed. The core threat of invasion still exists in many places, but it is now supplemented by additional threats like terrorism, piracy, EEZ incursions, hazardous waste pollution and drug-related criminality. Strong coastal defenses and the capacity to enforce the law in both coastal and open ocean seas are still required while the global economy struggles with poor economic growth. Budgets for national defense do not appear to be geometrically growing at the same rate as the threats. How can existing or even shrinking finances be used more intelligently to counter the evolving threats? Hello and welcome to Tech & Large Live. Today, we will be talking about the fastest military boats. A compelling argument can be made for the increasingly frequent addition of numerous, highly seaworthy smaller coastal patrol vessels to the traditional large naval vessel, allowing for quick deployment along the coast in response to any perceived threat, either overland in the case of smaller variants or by sea. The sheer economic expenses of deploying a major naval warship are very high. These costs include fuel, manpower, and logistical support requirements. In the vast majority of situations where displaying force is not a top priority, the same task could be accomplished successfully by a small, quick, highly seaworthy and resilient craft, capable of self-defense or displaying a level of force at a fraction of the cost of sending out a large naval vessel. Patrol boats lead difficult lives. They are vulnerable to severe levels of wear and tear because they likely spend more time at sea in a month than a leisure owner does in a year. The top 10 Navy patrol boats are shown ahead. The 10 most amazing police boats in the world are gorgeous police boats of various varieties that are employed by maritime police in various countries and utilized for port surveillance missions or to patrol coastal areas. They are built to reach high speeds. 10. 33 Relentless The Metal Shark Company in the U.S. created this high-performance twin-engine boat to provide great acceleration and handling even in the most challenging circumstances. It has two outboard motors and is 10 meters long by 1.8 meters wide. This boat's construction from welded aluminum plates, which offer exceptional strength and longevity, has been evaluated for use by a range of law enforcement and military units. It has various controls that make navigating easy, and there are seats for up to five people. 9. Ripcraft 10.5 The Metal Shark Company in the U.S. created this high-performance twin-engine boat to provide great acceleration and handling even in the most challenging circumstances. It has two outboard motors and is 10 meters long by 1.8 meters wide. This boat's construction from welded aluminum plates, which offer exceptional strength and longevity, has been evaluated for use by a range of law enforcement and military units. It has various controls that make navigating easy, and there are seats for up to five people. 8. XCAT Number 8 XCAT is a swift boat that joins the Dubai police force in that year. The fastest police boat in the Persian Gulf is dubbed the Lamborghini of Seas. It is 10 meters long and has two 700 horsepower engines working together to give it a top speed of 78 knots. The nation's authorities provided this boat to the police to help them in their tasks. This boat can be used for rescue efforts in addition to defending the waters off the coast of Dubai. 7. 36 Fearless The metal shark firm in the U.S. constructed the swift and maneuverable vessel. It is made to go at fast speeds in rough seas, to have a great range and be durable for extended periods of time at sea. It can go at a top speed of 54 knots and has three engines with a combined 900 horsepower. Its hull is made of high-resistance welded aluminum and is 11 meters long. It has been used by security forces all around the world, including the Puerto Rico Police Department. 6. HDPE Patrol Boat 1400 It is a highly durable and nimble boat made by the Turkish Gosimas Company. It is intended to be shock-resistant and unsinkable. In port or coastal areas, it might be employed for patrol or surveillance tasks. It has a displacement of 14 tons and is 14 meters long by 4 meters wide. It can go at a top speed of 32 knots and has two engines with a combined 900 horsepower. She is currently a member of the Turkish Maritime Police and has room for up to eight persons. 5. YJP 1400 It is a fast boat made in Singapore by the PO Ship Company. It is designed to be speedy and strong, with the ability to quickly intercept ships. It weighs 15 tons and measures 14.3 meters long by 4 meters wide. It has a wide range of 380 nautical miles and a top speed of 45 knots. It can stop in 10 meters to avoid crashes, 
reach top speed in 20 seconds, and accommodates two crew members and nine passengers. The Coast Guard services of various nations, including China, employ this boat. 4. IZ-1500AL The Izmir Shipyard Company constructed the quick and multi-purpose vessel in Turkey. It is built with superb maneuverability in mind, and her IPS power plant offers excellent power and efficiency. It can be utilized for a number of tasks, such as coastal search and rescue and port surveillance. Its length and width are each 14.6 meters and its two engines each produce 1,100 horsepower. It is capable of 42 knots of top speed. She can accommodate 12 personnel in total and is now used by the Turkish Maritime Police. 3. Patrol 45 It is a hybrid multi-purpose patrol boat that was made in Estonia by Baltic Work Boats. Even in the most challenging circumstances, it can be employed for patrol firefighting or offshore rescue missions. It measures 44 meters in length and can carry 235 tons. It can go at a top speed of 27 knots and has two engines with a combined 5,300 horsepower. Smaller boats can be transported by her and used for a variety of quick intervention tasks. She can go 3,000 nautical miles and has enough for 28 passengers. 2. M25 Patrol Boat It is a large, high-performance ship made in Thailand by the Marzan business. It is intended to undertake patrol, reconnaissance, and search and rescue tasks while navigating in coastal or open sea environments. It is 25 meters long and 5.9 meters wide, and it has two engines with a combined 24 horsepower. She has a range of tools on board and has room for up to 14 crew members. She currently serves with the Thai Maritime Police and has a range of around 600 nautical miles. 1. KP Yudhistira 8003 it is a brand new patrol boat produced by the Indonesian shipbuilding company, Drus. It can accommodate 68 crew members and is designed to work offshore. It has two crane-deploying vessels and a helipad for medium-sized helicopters. To patrol the Riau Islands, it is currently employed by the Indonesian police. It has a displacement of 1,100 tons and is 73 meters long by 11.5 meters broad. It can travel at a top speed of 18 knots and has two engines with a combined 6,800 horsepower. What engines are usually used? In addition to wanting more engine power, sailors are under pressure to care more about the environment. In recent decades, Navy ship power and propulsion systems have made significant advancements. This video attempts to showcase the most recent advancements in the construction and functionality of those PNP systems prime movers. Gas turbines, diesel engines, and steam turbines are the main propulsion technologies that transform the energy in fuel into mechanical energy for electrical or propulsion systems. Gas turbine and diesel engine configurations have essentially taken the place of the steam turbine in modern naval vessels. The warship will require a variety of prime movers, depending on its operational profile, to produce the power and propulsion required to carry out its mission sets. The power and propulsion system must be taken into account before anything else in the design of new ships because it is crucial to a ship's capacity and is essentially its defining feature. With this, we conclude our video. We appreciate you helping us keeping it going by watching. The best way to support our channel is to watch another episode. Thank you for tuning in. To ensure that you never miss an episode, please subscribe to the channel.